friends, this video on food, where does it come from, part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was all about the food items which are obtained from plants. So now let us look at animals because I, as I said that a lot of food items are also obtained from animals. So and in fact that, that's why uh, there is a huge uh, business where animals are taken care of. People take proper care of animals, they are like breeded, they are managed very well for human's profit because animals give us a lot of things which we need. For example, if you think of a cow, it gives us milk and we uh, consume milk, we consume a lot of milk products like cheese or butter or yogurt. You, you talk of fish, so fishes are very rich source of protein, so a lot of people eat fishes. You talk about um, uh, chick chickens, you talk about the honey bee which gives us honey. So you see all of these animals, they give us products which are very much nutritious for us. So therefore we take care of these animals so that they can give us more and more amount of nutritious products. So let us now quickly see that how these various animals are managed. So here uh, we often see dairy farm management where the animals which are capable of giving milk, they are taken care, they are managed, they are well fed, they are, I mean, they are given care 24 by 7 so that they can give us more and more milk and that to good quality milk. Poultry farm management where uh, birds are taken care because they give us eggs. Not only eggs, they even the birds are also eaten like the chicken or the flesh of other birds are all like turkey, chicken, they are also eaten. So poultry farm management takes care of that. The animal breeding, beekeeping because honeybees provide us honey and honey is again very nutritious. Fisheries because fishes are very rich source of protein. So fishery is altogether a different occupation than where people are uh, employed to catch fishes. So they catch fishes from uh, the oceans or from rivers and then they sell them. So that, that's the entire uh, concept of fishery. So fishing is done for commercial purpose. So let's first talk about the dairy animals. So when we talk about dairy animals, it is about animals which give us milk and when we get milk, so obviously we also get milk products indirectly for human consumption. So examples of such animals are cows, buffaloes, even camel provides milk, uh, goat, sheep. These are all examples of dairy animals. However, most common dairy animal is cow and buffalo. And they give us milk and milk products. Now, when a dairy farm is established, it is very important that proper care of the animal is taken. So it is important that good quality breeds of animals are maintained so that they are disease resistant and they have the potential to give more milk. So high milk yielding uh, animals are chosen. It is important to maintain cleanliness so that the animals do not uh, get any diseases because if the animal is diseased, the milk that is obtained from the animals can also be harmful for consumption. So it is important that regular visits by veterinary doctors are done so that the animals stay healthy. Now not only milk, so once we get milk from these animals, a lot of milk products can be obtained from it. For example, cheese, butter, yogurt, ice cream. So these are all milk products. So once we have milk, a huge number of milk products can also be obtained and they are all consumed by us. You talk about poultry farm management. So here, uh, management of domesticated birds for eggs or meat for human consumption. So again, eggs and meats are very commonly consumed by human beings and that is why all these birds, whether you talk about duck, you talk about uh, chickens, you talk about turkey. So all of these, they are like kept in cages, they are given food on time, cleanliness is maintained, it is ensured that they are all disease free. And then proper care is taken in all respect and in return they give us eggs and a lot of times the birds the birds are themselves eaten up. So like the smaller birds like the chicks so they are often eaten up directly. Let's now talk about apiculture. So that sounds a new name right. 
So here we are talking about beekeeping, where honey bees are purposely kept so that a bee hive is created. And do you know how a bee hive gets created? What what does a honey bee does? The honey bee goes from flower to flower. It sucks the nectar from the flower, and then it creates honey out of it. So it creates a bee hive. If you have ever seen a bee hive, you will see that a lot of honey bees, a swarm of bees. they remain at that honey uh, bee hive and then they produce honey we out of the nectar which they suck from different flowers and how do we get that honey from the bee hive so this is how a bee hive looks like so what is done is professionally all the honey bees are first removed from that area because as long as honey bees are there you cannot extract honey out of it because the honey bees are going to bite you so first of all the honey bees are removed from that area and then all the honey that is there in the bee hive that is extracted for human consumption so this entire management of honey bees is done commercially to increase the production of honey and this is called apiculture so that's the term given to it then finally we talk about fisheries where management of fishes and other aquatic animals for human consumption as i said there are huge variety of fishes which are available a lot of fishes are found in uh, the sea water uh, you also have a lot of uh, other organisms like crabs or prawns they are also consumed by human beings so you see so many different varieties of aquatic animals are consumed by human beings so how do you get them so for that purpose you have fisheries so the fishermen they catch fishes from uh, the aquatic bodies or the water bodies and then it is commercially sold in the market and that's how people eat fishes so the significance of fishery is there are a lot of uh, uh, advantages with fishery first of all it provides employment so these people the fishermen so they are getting a source of income for themselves second therefore it improves the economy obviously so they are getting something they are earning something so the economy is getting improved fresh water and marine fishes are both used as food so your scope increases you have so many fishes present in huge oceans so even those fishes are uh, consumed by human beings fresh water fishes are also consumed by human beings so like huge variety of fishes are also available so you see when you talk about animals it is not only the dairy animals which uh, which provide us nutritious food but also the fishes the honey bees uh, the uh, birds so they all provide us a lot of nut thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again